Hey guys, welcome to Code Red Defense. Nick Drills, I'm here with my business partner Patrick. Common question we get, what would you do if you had a gun put to your head? Okay, let's say the gun is put to your head. First thing is you want to bring your hands up. So once you bring your hands up, I want to grab the gun, I want to twist it towards him, I want to rip it off, create the distance, okay? Now if you bought this, you really need to question what I'm teaching you, what anybody else is teaching you. This shit will get you killed in the street. The problem with 99.9 .9 of the gun defense, nobody attacks like this. So when the guy, put the gun in your head, when the guy does a stupid, stupid hand fast speed and disarms the gun, see, just the fact that Pat was holding the gun stiff, that shit doesn't work. I didn't know how I was going to hold the gun. Okay? So what happens is people teach this, and they get impressed with stuff like this. If you go on YouTube and look at what gun attacks look like, the gun is shifting, moving, pulling back. They use the gun to hit, to move you, to bring you. The gun is always moving. So the idea that you're going to have time to set up something like this is freaking stupid. And that's what gets me mad about, you know, when I look at people who do these type of videos, and this is why I question that, the reality in terms of what they teach in self-defense. So once you showed me that, you lost all credibility with me when you're teaching me some fancy move and starting a gun. Now what do you do if you do have a gun to your head? Start fucking talking, man. What do you want, buddy? You want my money? Here. How do you want to do this? You want me to give it to you? You want to take it? At this point, I want to let him know you're in full control and I will do anything you say. Because all I want to do is walk out of this alive. Like, let's, right now, I'm your best friend, buddy. What do you want? Now, let's say he wants to put me in a car, he wants to take me to a secondary location. That's a different question, right? Then I'd rather fight exactly where I'm at. You might as well shoot me here than shoot me in a car or take me anywhere else. And even then, some people haven't kidnapped and got away. That's a 50-50 chance that you have to take. Now, let's say you were to make a move, what I focus on if I'm going to trap a gun is number one, I need to lower his guard, raise his ego, I need him to get him talking to do my move. If I'm here and I do my move and I trap, what I like to do is just trap and bring the gun in, point it towards the person, then start to strike as quickly as possible. I'm not going to focus so much on trying to disarm. The reality of gun defense is once I do this, He's going to be fighting to disengage the gun. He's going to try to pull it away. And believe it or not, the gun could fucking go out anywhere. That's the truth. Okay? And that's why if you're put in this type of defense, defuse, de-escalate, give him your stuff. If he tries to take you to a secondary location, focus on trapping the gun, redirecting the barrel towards the attacker, go into the strikes, and then it's a fight. Okay? I saw a great video. I've seen a few videos of gun defenses that I really, really like that were probably the guys were not even gun experts. They were just aware. One of it was a doorman. He's sitting on a stool and the guy walks in the club with the gun. So pretend you're walking in. So he's sitting in the stool. He walks in. He sees it. Boom! He jumps in. He, he pulls out the gun. He's like this. As soon as he sees it, he just grabs the gun by him and he starts striking. His instinct was just to clinch and attack him before he could pull out the gun. Beautiful. It wasn't fancy. It wasn't you know anything kind of kind of like ooh wow how do I learn this gun defense? No, he was aware he trapped the gun and that's it. I remember working at a club one time. I had the guy come to the club and flash the gun at me. I swear I almost grabbed it off him and used it. Then I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Shoot him? It's another question you have to ask yourself. Are you ready to shoot him? Do you know I've ever shot a gun? Or are you just going to start shooting anywhere? So before you look at these videos that tell you, oh yeah, boom, boom, and they all look fancy and shit, unless your life depends on it, guys, use your common sense, use your logic. It's not worth it. Okay? And it's the same thing with the knife. In a close quarter, a knife is way more dangerous than a gun. That's why I tell people, give them your shit. It's not worth dying. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more self-defense, we have a video on gun defense teaching you strategies from defusing, de-escalating, communicating with your attacker, any, everything you need to learn how to defend against a gun. I'll put the link in the description box, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Stay safe and stand strong.